oh, you know what I should have worn for you? Why? Uh, I should have worn my, uh, and it's, it's, Sergio's watching it, it's my long sleeve Kathy Wakili t-shirt. There was a photo of Kathy and I screenshot it and I said, hey mom, love this photo, can you send me a high res of it? She sent me a couple of versions of it and um, I put it on a t-shirt. So it's now my travel t-shirt. So the past couple of times I've been traveling and I wore my Kathy Wakili t-shirt. So Okay, okay yeah. first I would like a Kathy Wakili t-shirt. Do you, do you want the Kathy Wakili t-shirt that I have or do you want my new favorite photo of Kathy Wakili and it's a shot of her at her daughter's wedding? I think the one you have for vintage purposes, but okay. two things before we get to her wedding, has anyone stopped you like in the airport, supermarket and said, oh my God, I what, asked before, what are you doing? I wore it yesterday uh, and my physical therapist said, wait, is that? And I said, yeah, and I go with my mom and he went, but sh I said, I know, we're good. So yeah, people and people, it's so funny as people do um, double takes. And then when I first posted it, uh, her son, Joey, uh, sent me a, a, a note that said, oh my God, this is the best thing I've ever said, I've ever seen. So I now take photos of it and go, hi, here I am with my mom in New York. Here I am with my mom at the market. Here I am with my mom at the gym. It's super fun. I, I needed this t-shirt. Um, what size? I can make this happen. A small. Okay, I'll get you a small. I'm still a small, despite the fact that I ate my way through COVID. I'm still small at the moment. Listen, it, COVID was not, listen, it's, I think you went one of two ways. You either, there are people I look at online and I'm like, what happened? You got in like the best shape I've ever seen you in your life. I think if I didn't have a, this job, I would have hardcore just, that. I, I get it. That was people's thing. Like that was the one thing that kept you going. Well, then you also see people that do now virtual experiences and they're like this. Hi, how are you? Because you're. I've I've slowly been like, okay, I need to pull myself together because this is reality. But it is reality, and I also have the um, I have the slimming lens. You know what that is? I do not. You're kidding, I don't. I'm just. Oh, I'm I was like. Thing in right now. No, I've seen too many pictures of you to know that this is your real. What about the wedding? Looked gorgeous, right? Probably one of the most stunning events that I've ever seen. And because of the pain in everybody's ass called COVID, uh, Lawrence and I didn't go. And it just was, um, you know, uh, everything was under protocol and safe and whatever, but just getting on the plane and doing all of that was too, you know, when I've traveled, I've been on empty planes and I was lucky enough to put myself in the front. And it was so um, hand sanitizers and great and everything safe, but just going at that moment was, um, yeah, we did, we didn't go. And um, I will forever hate that I didn't. Within all of that, it was probably one of the most epic, gorgeous fairy tales I've ever seen. And can we, can we talk about how stunning Victoria was? And, you know, there's a shot of uh, Richie as he's getting ready to walk, walk, walk Victoria down the um, aisle and you just see the tears in his eyes. It was just, you know, it, it was an event and um, that will be told for a long time. I thought it was, yeah, like one of the nicest weddings I've seen. You know, it's a fairy tale, you know, and I, and again, I loved, because when we spoke about it, you know, she was very clear, you know, tables are separated and, you know, masks are there and all of it was done so masterfully because you either do something haphazard or you do something masterfully. And um, it was epic and gorgeous. And um, I actually was texting uh, with Victoria yesterday there on their honeymoon. And um, to, to be with somebody years ago as her, we were on a boat going up the Hudson and she was just talking about, you know, um, hopefully finding the one that she's gonna marry. And now she did and it's, and they, you know, I believe that when you love someone, you love someone. And because I've spent quite a bit of time with them, they like each other. And Teddy, Teddy, her husband, like he gets her. You know, in my relationship, John gets me. And I think, you know, you, you have to really like and get the person that you're with. You know, Rich and Kathy, they get each other. And it just, 
you know, I think when you get somebody and it's more than loving somebody and you like somebody and you have open conversation about everything, it's a win-win situation. Well, yeah, I think that's the mistake that most people make is that they don't realize you're supposed to like the person as just, I mean, you know, you need to be attracted to them and there's a lot of other things, but I think that's the mistake that everyone makes. You know, it is. And I think, you know, here's the deal. I, you know, when you look at somebody and go, oh my God, there's so much sexual tension. Yeah. Yay. And I support all of that. And also that changes because, you know, it's kind of, you know, like we're all animals. We all hunt our prey. And, you know, once you find the prey and then you, then what? And like I said, it's just really great to witness them because they, they just dig each other, you know, and it, it, it's effortless. And you also know the parameter of in relationships, which I'm sure we've all been in when we have been with somebody that um, wasn't right for us. And uh, you were worried about what you said and you're worried about, let me take care of this, let me do that, let me, and uh, what the hell is that? If you go out with somebody and you're with your friends and you're not being you, uh, I have no idea what that is. I don't understand people that are in relationships like that. I mean, I get it, but run. Well, yeah, but here's the thing. There's, you, have you been in some where you haven't been that comfortable with the person you're with and you really want them to like you? And then you're like, oh my God, please, if I just do one more thing, you're going to really like me and come on. Yeah, but it's been a long time. So I'm not turning my nose up because everyone gets there at a different point, but... Yeah. I mean, well, someone else had a wedding too. I think that was since we spoke last. I'm pretty sure. Uh, super, uh, you know, yes, I, I got married. Super simple, super sweet, super. Um, was it in LA or Hawaii? I can't it, remember. Um, you know, here's Hawaii. the thing. Yeah, I wanted to do this epic event with family and friends. If you hear the beep, that's my dryer. And obviously Sergio is not, Sergio! I don't, I don't hear fire! a nor, I don't hear a beep nor see Sergio. Sergio, the dryer's beeping. And I love you, thank you. Um, okay, that's hysterical. It's okay, wave Sergio. Now we can see him. See, you're so nice. Well, you are. listen, we're filming this. Uh, yeah, uh, we got married. We were going to get married in October. And uh, with COVID and everything, it just, I just said, let's just do it on the day we got engaged. And we went to this beautiful place on the beach, um, Kapalua, and it was just John and myself. Uh, we didn't tell anybody until Christmas Day. My Lawrence didn't know until... Christmas Day, and it was just, it was simple. And I think it was per, it was perfect. You know, eventually we want to do a bigger thing. You know, like the day before I got married, I called Kathy, I called Richie, um, I called Donna. You know, I called the people, I called my stepmom. Um, the people that I hold here, they knew because it didn't feel, it didn't feel, it's not, it's not that I don't want to say right, it's just, and especially moms, we called, I called the moms in my world that have taken the baton from my mom and that just love me. 